So we finally have our first teaser for Kenobi. Generally speaking, I've wanted Disney Star Wars to move away from doing all these A New Hope prequels, the one exception being I wanted a Kenobi story set before A New Hope with Ewan McGregor. We're finally getting it, and this is our first look. Let's do this. The fight is done. We lost. Stay hidden. <laughs> the key to hunting Jedi is patience. Jedi cannot help what they are. Their compassion leaves a trail. The Jedi Code is like an itch. He cannot help it. Where is he? My first takeaway is it looks like I need to go rewatch Rebels before May 25th. Real quick before I let you know what I thought about it, go ahead and join me down below in the comment section. Share your thoughts on the Kenobi trailer. Also, if you want to know my thoughts on a bunch of the other Star Wars stuff, you can check out my top Star Wars rankings up here. I've ranked the live action TV shows up to this point in time, the movies. I'm going to watch that trailer one more time and then I'm going to start talking. All right, so I thought that was a really nice first look at this show because it lets us know where Kenobi's at while not really overselling what's kind of going on with him. We don't see as much of him in the trailer as you might expect. And then the other thing it does is it establishes what the threat is that ties into the bigger Star Wars mythology that hasn't been in live action yet with these Inquisitors that were so prominent during Star Wars Rebels. Now we're bringing them into live action, into this kind of adventure with Kenobi, and pulling, uh, tying all of it back to the Jedi belief system and what the Inquisitor's trying to do in baiting out Jedi through his actions. And so you get a serious and interesting main threat established right from the get-go. And that is me very interested. And, you know, we just got off of Book of Boba Fett where I think one of the gigantic problems with that show is that it lacked any big, interesting hook, a compelling threat, or a, a character study that I really got all that invested in. And this teaser for Kenobi set all of that up, I think, better than the whole show of Book of Boba Fett where you look at this and immediately you've got an Obi-Wan Kenobi who's watched the world that he protected burn, worlds that he protected burn, and he's trying to keep Luke safe from a distance, and you can tell like he's losing faith because of everything that he's seeing, everything going on around him, enter this threat to draw him out to be the hero again. And just, right there, it's, it's compelling in the two minute little, minute 45 second, teaser trailer that we got there. So this is the story where I think there was something interesting to do. Where, much more so than, than like Han Solo origin story, like that doesn't strike me as all that interesting. This is one right here where you have this A-list actor, a fantastic character, and 20 years where we're like, what was he up to? And several pieces of the mythology that have been established, but we haven't really explored all that much in live action, and we're about to get it. A character who is hunting down Jedi in live action. 
I'm all for it. And then you get to the end of it and you hear the Darth Vader breathing. We know Hayden Christensen, Christensen is coming back. Um, I, I hope that it's awesome. Um, Disney, as of recently, all of their big brands feel like they're kind of all over the place. They do something awesome and then they do something really not awesome. <laughs> and um, I, I love Mandalorian. Not so crazy about Book of Boba Fett. Hopefully this is another home run. And I think the character and the context provide a lot of opportunity to get back to classic Star Wars. Doing something different, a different type of story that's not just hero's journey, but feels like Star Wars. Hopefully that's what it is. I, I want to go in cautious but optimistic because their, their track record, I, I can't trust everything that they're doing, but I like what I just saw. I liked it quite a bit. So. What did you think about it? Let me know down below if you want my other Star Wars content. Check it out right over there. Thank you so much for watching, and keep talking movies and TV.